streaming live video. Wait, what? Oh. Too late. It's already started. How is the camera at such a bad Hasidic angle to <laughs> me? <laughs> Fuck. Every time I get screwed. Okay. Paul. Rolling. Am I saying your last name correctly? Verzi. Verzi. Okay, yes. I wasn't going to say it right. Thank you yeah, for, no for being my guest. Thank you for, you don't even know me. We just met right now. But I there's a comedy bond. Yeah. Yeah, that I, yeah. you were kind enough to say yes and be my guest. Yeah, and I reached out to you one time, and I think I think I saw something you did, and I thought it was really funny. Did you? Yeah, about. Thank yeah. you. What yeah. was it? It was. There's only been like two funny things that I've done. So. No, you said something. It was a joke uh, um, about something how your mother was, and I really laughed, and I hit you know. And I, I actually said I said something to you like I was like uh, that was really funny. I just want I just want you to know I saw that and I just think it's really funny. And then you were like, oh, that's nice. We had a nice little chat. You didn't fucking remember oh, at shit. all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just, you, you, yeah. Like I would have thought that that would have you know stuck. What? I do remember I was playing it. Cool. And part of me is on this because of that. So I thought you would remember <laughs> knowing that you didn't fucking remember. I would be halfway to Scottsdale right. right now. Well, you don't remember the night we had in <laughs> Albuquerque. How dare you? How dare you? Are you <laughs> well no you thought I was Spanish I did <laughs> think you were Spanish uh, but you are a parent I am. and that's why you're here I and am. we're gonna talk about how old are your kids my son is eight and my daughter's five so you have a okay same yeah. with me I have an older boy younger girl six and two. Oh, okay yeah and um, eight and do they get along what's their story what's yeah their they deal? you know what like she she's very strong, very independent, but drives him, she drives him nuts. My five-year-old drives my eight-year-old nuts a little bit. They love each other, and there's a bond there, Yeah. but there's definitely, uh, like, he'll just be like, Dad, I just, she's just driving me nuts, Dad. I can't, and I have to tell him, I'm like, Lucas, she looks up to you. She wants to be doing the things yes. that you're doing, and she does, but, like, she goes about it in a way that he gets, he doesn't see yet. Yeah. You know, but I always tell him, like, look, man, the, the only person that's going to be able to look out for her is you. Like, you are... You know, other than the parents, when you guys are out and about and they go to the same school, you have to look out for your sister. So I'm trying to put that in there, but they, they go at it hard. You know, my uh, six-year-old loses his fucking mind if the two-year-old looks at something of his. Yeah. She's she's looking she's looking at it. Yeah. She's looking at it. I go, dude, you have to... This is for the rest of your life. Yeah. Like, I don't think they understand the yeah. the length that they're going to be with this other person. Yeah. I yeah. mean, sure, when you guys are older, you don't ever talk to each other. Whatever, that's going to be up to you. But for now, yeah. you, you guys are in it. This yeah. is a marathon. They, Yeah. The funny thing with my kids is, like, when he gets mad at her, he wants to prove things she doesn't know. So he'll just go like, uh, they'll oh be God. fighting and he'll just be like, yeah, Sophia, so what's, you, you don't even know what nine plus four is. <laughs> Right? What's nine plus four? And she'll just be like, you're so mean. Yes, you are know. so mean. And then I'm, and me and my wife are like, Lucas, you know she doesn't know that because they didn't learn it yet. You just, so what he's like. I it, barely know that. Yeah. No, but whatever be he. be fucking with me hard. Whatever he just learned. Right. Whatever he just learned, he goes home to her. Yeah. Like, look what the fuck I know now. And I know you don't know it. And, and it's, and we just, you know, he gets really mean to her. He really does. And I'm like, he, but he loves her. It's weird. It's of a weird course, thing. Of course. They love yeah, each other. Yeah. My, my six year old thanks me for the baby all the time. Thank you so much <laughs> for a baby sister. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you so much yeah. for making her. Yeah. Which I'm like, how did you fucking know we made her? Cause that's now oh, that's yeah. a whole nother level. Yeah. Somehow so that, he figured that out. Yeah. That's what I'm going through right now where, with the sexual stuff. Like the other day we're in the car and, uh, she goes, Lucas just did something. Lucas just did something. And I was like, first of all, Sophia, you don't rat your, you don't rat your brother out. Like, <laughs> you know, you don't do that. You don't rat your brother out. Right. But, but then I see him acting a certain way through the rear view. Snitches and I'm like, get stitches, and I'm, right? like, I'm like, yeah. And I'm like, what did you do? Did you do something? And my son's very like, he's really like empathetic. So he knew he fucked up. And I go, what did you do? And he just starts blushing. And she goes, he showed me his penis and put up two middle fingers. <laughs> Which I inst instantly laughed because the two middle finger shit, it just made me like that was I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, because I get the private part thing. They're kind of, you know, I mean, not what that do you mean it, it sh he showed it to her like he like presented he pulled, it he like, pulled, huh? no, no, I think he just he just <laughs> no, he pulled it. He pulled it down, like just like pulled it down and then defiantly put up two middle fingers. To so, her or to, to the penis? No, 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 no. Like okay. the penis out and then I think <laughs> just like kind of to her, but like right. just like this. Okay. So I instantly laugh just because sure. the, 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 how do you not laugh at that? But then they see me laughing, which isn't good. 
So then I said, why did you do that? And he literally goes, he goes, I saw it in a rap video. That's, <laughs> <laughs> that's what he said. And that's he, why he started watching goes, Journey videos goes, And I'm like, first on. of all, what rapper, I don't know any rapper that's pulling their dick out doing that n- now. But um, yeah, it's things, it's things like that. But actually, this, this story is really funny because I said, I got to tell your mother. Because me and your mother told you that you got to stop with the private part shit. You have to stop with that. We told you multiple times, you got to stop. So I said, I have to tell him. And he's going, oh, man, dad, I'm dead. Aren't I? I'm dead now. We're a week away from going to the shore for a week. Okay. We go, we go to the beach for a week. And we're a week away. And he's going, I'm dead, Dad, man. I'm not going to be able to go to the beach, am I? And we're walking around Target. I have a spot in New York. So my wife comes home from work. I just give her the kids. And I got to run down yeah. to Manhattan. Yeah. So we're walking around Target. And he's walking around like a man on death row. Like he's just head down. And he's like, you're really going to tell her? And I was like, I, I can't. So we see my wife coming from the parking lot. And he knows it's coming. And I'm just looking at him. And I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I can't do it. I'm not ratting my son out. I can't. I can't do it. I'm not. The way he was acting, I'm not doing it. Yeah. So my wife comes in and he's waiting for it. And I just winked at him. I kissed him on the cheek and I said, don't do it again. I love you. And I start leaving. And before I even get to the door, my daughter's like, Lucas, show me his penis and put up two middle fingers. <laughs> And just fucking ratted him out. And <laughs> I, I hope she said, now what's nine plus four, motherfucker? That's how many days you're going to be grounded. Oh, my God. I would have loved. Oh, oh please. that's great. You yeah. Tell her next time. Yeah. So they but you know what? He's such a sweetheart. He would have ratted himself out. He I know would've, he would have. Yeah. He would have just been like, Mom, I did this. Kids. I did this thing. Yeah. He's like my daughter. No, my daughter will be. My, this is how gangster my daughter is. My daughter's fucking gangster. I'm not even kidding. My daughter said to my wife, I want all the princesses out. What? Okay? I want all the Disney princesses out. My five-year-old daughter, who's this beautiful little adorable girl, her room theme is every villain. <laughs> she got the fucking princesses oh out. Oh, my God. She's got Ursula, this one, that one, all across. Then she's got sketches of all the villain gowns. On her wall. She's going to murder she's, you in she's, your sleep. She, and she's like the sweetest little, and she's just like, no. They and, all and come now, across and sweet. Now, no, but now, now she's like, maybe one more, one princess. That was like a year. <laughs> like, so, so she's having her thing, but like she's having a balance of good and evil. But I love it. She wouldn't have ratted herself out. My son is the, you know, and I'll say this, you know, since you have a, since you have a, um, a podcast or we're talking about children now, I, I guess I'll, I'll, on a serious note. Somebody said something to me that bothered me one time. All right, I'm going to give you gold here, even though you okay. didn't fucking know who I was. Stop it. I know. Um, I'm looking it up right it's, now. You're dead to up. me. You're dead to me after oh. this. See, you can't um, say that with that <laughs> accent. You can't say that. Like, what? I can say that. You're dead to me. It's like, ah, hilarious, California. Yeah, yeah. But that fucking accent <laughs> makes me feel like I have a future in a trunk <laughs> no, somewhere. No, no, no. no. You're, a, you're, you're a sweetheart, but it, it bothered me. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> so... Somebody said to me once, and it bothered me. She goes, a female comedian. I'm not going to mention a name, but she just said to me, and I'm, but she just said, uh, I could tell you, you care. Do you care more about your son? You care more about your son, and that bothered me. When what? she said that, when she said that to me, she goes, I can tell by the way you're talking, you care more about your son, and it, and it bothered me and it hurt me. And I thought about it the rest of the day, and I thought about it at night because the fact of the matter is, I don't care about my son more. I love my children equally. Here's what it is. When somebody says you care about a child more mm-hmm. or more has a favorite, I could tell by your face that, that you, you, you have a certain thing. Here's what it is. Mm-hmm. I realized what it is. My son needs me more than my daughter needs me. Mm. My son is empathetic. My son is sensitive. My daughter is strong. And even though she's younger, my daughter will tell you, you hurt my feelings. Mm-hmm. You hurt my feelings. Okay. And go fuck yourself. I don't like the way that you, you made me feel. My son, he internalized it. He'll go to his room. He'll think about it. My instinct as a parent was to know my son needs me right. as more than my daughter. So that's why. And it made me feel better to know that. I got another great one for you. I got one for you. Ready for this? My yeah. wife tells me today, there's a little girl in my daughter's class name. Uh, should I say the name? Yeah, what the fuck? There's a little girl in my daughter's class named Michaela. My daughter just started getting on the bus with her brother uh, in and, and kindergarten. Okay. And Michaela's being a problem. And my daughter's trying to make this girl, this, she's mean. And my daughter's trying to be like, I want to be friends with her because she's acting like the pack leader and mean, but she's getting upset. And sometimes my daughter is crying. So this little <laughs> kindergarten girl is making my Sophia upset. So Sophia's going, and she's mean to me. And the other day, 
I had to make my teacher walk me to Lucas's room so my brother could make me feel better because Michaela oh, was mean oh to me. My God. So, so my I wife just started lactating. So, I swear so, to God, so, that, this so, is so very my, sweet. So my daughter and my wife have a conversation, and I hear my wife say to my daughter, Sophia, people have different personalities. Her personality right now, she thinks she's like the leader. She's being rude. That's her personality. My wife gets an email from the teacher today. I heard this from my hotel room here in Phoenix today. My wife tells me, yeah, so your, uh, your daughter's teacher got in touch with me, sent an email. I said, what happened? She said, well, Michaela and her have been going back and forth, and your daughter's on the receiving end of it. And, uh, and what did she say? Yeah, yeah. Uh, somebody's, uh, Doug Stanhope's walking by. It's all good. Um, and, she, and she says, your, your daughter walked up to Michaela out loud and in front of everybody in the class, including the teacher, said, my mom says you have a horrible personality. <gasps> <laughs> yeah. yeah and a horrible personality that's like what a, f a five but year now, old said but, that but now that parent's mother is going to have to talk to my wife yes yeah i would have no problem having that conversation like, yeah and, and and but my wife was like look i said some things about personality but i didn't go i didn't take it that far right yeah i said shitty and she kind of <laughs> yeah, yeah. she edited that <laughs> yeah. out yeah, not she horrible. used the yeah. word horrible yeah i said shitty yeah uh you know here's the thing with stuff at school i, I I come in with guns blazing. I come out with my dick out and two middle fingers. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, that's <laughs> like an eight-year-old. No, but I when something goes down at school, like I don't fuck around. Yeah, that is where because you're not there, and as a parent, you don't know what shit's happening. And he comes home with the the six-year-old comes home with something new every fucking day. Yeah, he comes home with something that he saw an older kid do. That's the worst. Yeah, uh, he comes home with a new phrase. Uh, he comes home with some like all of a sudden I don't know where he started doing peace signs because speaking of the middle finger yeah. in pictures like he's a Japanese yeah. tourist yeah, what yeah, the yeah, fuck yeah, put yeah, your yeah. fucking peace sign yeah. down what do you what do you need peace for you're fine that's that's the worst you know we live in a three bedroom house with a pool everything is peace you, yeah. that's the, you've already achieved it but he like does it like I don't know again but, yeah. some kids saw it but recently some kids were uh, older kids because he's in the school play, so he spends time with older kids, yeah. you know? And uh, they were making origami, right? Well, I thought that was cool, like a good way to kind of, you know, pass the time while they're waiting to go on stage. Right. And these fucking older kids made pussy origami. <laughs> fucking pussy or which i thought was actually kind of genius <laughs> but it was you know like that old game where it's like pick a color red blue yellow green remember that That's old great. game great yeah right yeah. and then the older kid like drew Pink. fucking hair and a <laughs> vulva like he got it like right <laughs> like medically he had correct. flesh he had flesh he had a majora and a minora <laughs> it was biologically accurate but i was like he's like look mommy pick a color and it was a vagina it was a i was like oh shit um i'll take the hemorrhoid i don't even know what this That's is hilarious. and then you open up the flap you know the ones where you do like a little fortune you know yeah you, know, yeah, you see the like it goes like back. pick a number yeah, yeah, one yeah, two yeah. three four five okay your fortune is and um and the fortunes were fucking dirty i mean i very casual you got to be casual with kids a thing is if you freak out then they know something bad happened but i was like oh this is so beautiful who decorated this yeah it's like oh it was some the so worst you do you name. do it the casual see i don't do it. i do, you do everything it. is casual see my wife and i fight because my wife tries to do that and i just tell my son like the innocence the kids lose come from the bus and they come from children with fucking dumb parents and and because they're you know so my son will get off the bus but so-and-so said this and I'll be like, Lucas, so and so's a fucking idiot. They're not that person. <laughs> that, that person. That they person is not. That person is not raising that kid right. That kid right. is a fuck. You're better. You're fucking better than that kid. You know, like not like that, but right. it, like kind of just like I don't. Yeah, I don't. I'm not giving them some complex, but I'm just like you know. I tell them. Okay, so where do you draw the line where you say you're better, and then he walks around. Is he well, gonna you get know, cocky I just think from that? Because that's gonna turn your kid into that no, fucking douche kid. No, no, because no, my when I say better, I don't mean you're better than people. I don't, right. I don't. I'm just like you're better than that dumb shit that that person did. Like, right, like right, you're, right. You're, you're, you're not gonna do that. Right. You're not gonna do that. Because what I we always tell our kid is we're always like oh, I'm so proud of the way you know you can read at such a great you know level. Like you're like not because he's in first grade. I'm like oh yeah. dude, you're reading at like second or third grade level, and he looks at me and goes, come on, mom. Yeah. Fourth. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck have we created? Yeah. That's the thing is that we tell him he's so great. And then I realized we got to take him down a notch. Yeah. And my husband did that the other day. Oh my God. He took him down a notch. Oh yeah. He, he this motherfucker will not blow his nose. Here, here's the thing. When you become a parent, you don't realize you have to teach what? someone how to be a human. <laughs> like just do basic human shit. Yeah. Like wipe your ass. You got to teach <laughs> someone to do that. You can't just say, hey, go, go in there and wipe your ass. You actually have to like. No, you do. Physically, like yeah. a diagram and a picture. And there's a book with a bear who's learning how to do it. And there's a cartoon you got to watch. <laughs> and Daniel Tiger has the, to wipe his ass. The other day, one of my kids ran out of the bathroom. I forgot who it was. And I was like, they were like, yeah, I pooped. And I was like, did you wipe? And they were like, oh, yeah. And they, had to, they, and just, they, go, they back. go back. But you don't realize it's not even just one time. Time. Like if I told you one time how to do something, yeah. you'd be like, oh, okay. And then you'll do it because you're an adult and you've right. had life experience. These small people, yeah. you have to tell them so many fucking times. Yeah. And it's ridiculous. After a while, you're like, are you fucking with me? Yeah. Like know. you know how to wipe yeah. your ass. So anyways, the point is he, he wouldn't blow his nose. He has a cold right now. And we're like, my husband was just at the end of it. He was just, I'm done. Yeah. He's like, like at gunpoint almost, like blow your he, fucking he, uh, nose. He, like he, he lost his shit. And of course I come in with like fairy wings, like I'm the good witch, you know what I mean? Like, oh, is your nose stuffed up? Well, you have the power to blow it within you. <laughs> and I'm always trying to do everything like, you know, so gently because I was raised by, you know, Russian wolves. So I'm trying to do the opposite <laughs> of that. And I'm like, here's what you do, you know, find the one that's stuffed up. And my husband just lost his shit. Yeah, just like blow your He's just like blow. Your nose, yeah. Your nose. And my six year old, I can't, I don't know how. And he goes, you know, some people just don't know how to do stuff. <laughs> We're like, no. Are they in sports or no? He is, but it's like not, it's sports adjacent. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah. So he's learning how to ice skate right now oh. to play hockey. Okay. So he's, he'll, he's, so he's fun, but he's, he's like, he's in the neighborhood of playing sports. So, or like he'll do like, you know, martial arts. It's not really sports. Yeah. But he's starting. But like, you didn't get to the thing where you saw something either really awful or fucking incredible. Where what do you, you mean? Like, like, where, um, like where he scored a basket? Yeah. Oh, we're doing basketballs coming up, coming up. To my, um, my, son, my son plays um, flag football, right? He okay. just started playing flag football. And I had a moment that. Was one of the it was it was one of the craziest things. So he played a slot receiver, right? He yeah. played a slot receiver in flag football. Okay, I don't know what and you just said, like, but he's, yes. he's, he's like, yeah, he's, he's sure, just a little, yeah. He just comes out of the you, you know slot and then you comes out of the backfield and catches I whatever. I feel like slot receiver yeah. is also a good nickname for me in high school. So, so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so <laughs> you were the whore. You were a whore in high school. Actually, I wasn't. That's where the joke is. You, okay. I was so square. I'm still okay. so pathetic. Well, yeah, square. because with the, the parents, the, the parents you grew up with, right? The wolves. The fucking Russians are the worst. So anyway, uh, my son is playing flag football and he's playing against this undefeated team. I'm yeah. not that overly competitive dickhead dad, you know, so I go, I go, um, listen, these guys haven't lost. OK, this team you're playing is undefeated. They haven't lost. But, um, you know, just just know that this is a kind of an important game. But I wasn't too much of a <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. You know, just so know you'll disappoint my, us. So my son, he catches this three yard pass. And he runs like positive 10 yards. And I'm like, oh, this is great. It's a nice gain. Okay. And then the defenders come up to get him. And I see in his mind that he's going, this is important. And he just fucking turns around and just starts running negative yardage now. So he's plus 12. And now he just starts running back. And the coach's hands go up. And I'm going, what the fuck? And then the other dads are looking at me like, that's your, that's your kid. Like, you know, when that happens, it's like, that's on you. Yeah. And he just was fucking, it dicks, was it dicks out and fingers? <laughs> yeah, no, he, but he runs all the way back in the backfield now behind the quarterback. The and I'm fuck? going, what the fuck, dude? What the fuck? And then he turns the corner and he starts running down positive again, gets out of a, like a tackle and just fucking takes it to the house for a touchdown. And I'm fucking going nuts. I'm jumping up and down. All the dads that were looking at me, I'm like, fuck you. Yeah, that's what he did. That's what he did, <laughs> motherfucker. Did that's he have, like, what a he trail did. of people following and, and just, him yeah, too? Yeah, like, all, all the kids. And then he came out and he ran by me and stuff. But then the, later in the game, he tried to do it again and he got stopped and it was a mess. But, you know, the coach was like, yeah, it's not going to happen twice. But, but in that moment, what you're saying is those moments give them. It's, it's incredible. 
what gives them the feeling of it's just it, it was just like you know just proud and i'm sitting there and i was just like yeah. oh my kid just did that yeah like, that yeah, was yeah. fucking cool to watch i i'm i'm looking forward to those he has yeah. done like soccer and he has done some stuff and everyone tells me i know you got to get, get yeah, going yeah. get going um but everyone tells me you got to get him in sports you got to get him like constantly moving when when how many hours i'm like no. you i my my husband comes home and we literally like pass a baton and i'm in my car driving down to wherever yeah. you know comedy and magic or pass Sedina or wherever I got a spot uh we, there, when when do you have time to it's do so hard yeah any gotta, of this you, and then you, you got another one you need yeah the fucking yeah. second kid is such a different story it really is she I think because it sounds like my my daughter's like yours this chick is so independent because we forget about her yeah <laughs> like she yeah. will be like wait where's the baby and she's yeah. on top of the fridge she once yeah. climbed up to the top of the <laughs> fridge <laughs> I mean, she, it doesn't matter. It's, How old is she? Uh, she's two. Oh, wow. She's two, but she does everything by herself. Yeah. And I mean, I hope, I hope one day she does say all the princesses out. Yeah. I villains. hope she's, yeah, villains. It's just villains in my daughter's room. It's I would high five her a million times. It's, everybody comes in and just is like, what the fuck is wrong with that? Like, she, and I was like, oh, that's great. Look, I want you, next time you're in LA, will you come to the studio and do the I'd podcast to, yeah, for realsies? To. Yeah, yeah, thank you. I know you, you so, gotta go, yeah, right? No, but it's thank, time to go. Thank you so much. It was my pleasure. Paul, I'm yeah. gonna, listen what I'm or gonna you, do right now. You're gonna bring in this guy. I'm gonna bring in the, no, I'm gonna go get my phone. I'm gonna look up that conversation. I'm gonna say it on the podcast. Uh, the, the, the fact, the, the fact Facebook that I wrote, message. the fact that I wrote you something nice. And and you, know, you and, but here's the other thing. I wrote you something nice, and then right. you responded nice. Okay, and so then, there's the nice. And then it was a like, nice, nice. And then it was like we just who the fuck. Is so am I am I doing po negative now? Negative yards. <laughs> you I'm went gonna back. make it around. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll make it around. You made it around. I'll go all you, the way around. You made it around. Paul Thanks Beersy, for having I me. I love you. Thank yeah, you so fun. much. Oh, Thank you. Right. Fun Murray, times. Murray Valeriano, get your ass up here. Doug Stanhope, are you gonna join? Are you gonna join Doug Stanhope? Murray Valeriano. No. Hey, Verzi. Jersey Paul Verzi, hello. <laughs> I have just staged, we walked into the wrong room because there's a pool party going on somewhere. So we all walked in with no way out and I'm saying to Murray. your guest, Murray, yeah. how do I do the right thing? Because I, we have five of us and I don't want to walk out in the middle of a podcast. You you could have walked There's out. There's only the fact like that five stayed. people here anyway. That was very nice. So I, wait, I ju I'm trying to whisper. I'm fucking hammered, of course. So I'm like trying to whisper to all my friends, go out one at a time, and then we'll find this pool party we're supposed to be in. That fucking geeky, pasty Australian guy is the guy that brought us into this pool party. No, it's not a pool party. It's old fucking Joseph A. Bank. So. <laughs> And I'm asking Murray, what's the right thing to do? I was going to say, oh, that's Paul Verzi. I, I, I don't know if I've met you, but I know you from the fucking Please. Bell Burr Ladies don't, podcast. Don't say that you have it, that you don't know him. He's very sensitive about that. Well, no, I don't know if I've met him. <laughs> I've just done gave this. Me How many years have you shit. done this? <laughs> I'm 27. It's like being a toll booth attendant at some point. You're like, yeah, I've met every comic that's ever fucking lived. Or I only know him from TV. And then I say, hi, Amy Schumer. I've never met you. It's one well, of those I'm gonna, fucking I'm going to put Stanhope on the... I just don't want to be a dick and just like walk in. You can be a dick right out. now, right now. Do you remember where we performed together? <laughs> <laughs> no, this is a trick question. No, uh, give, give it's me, not. Give me uh, okay, I'm three gonna, hints. Uh, Las Vegas. I'm just going to give you oh, the three hints that are going to be the skeptics. Remember that fucking skeptics convention? Oh, with yes. With the aliens. Uh, uh, oh, that was uh, Paul, uh, Paul Provenza. Paul Provenza. Yes, yes that, and that we did weird that together. guy, that old guy. Yeah. I, I, I had a fucking crushing set. You of, killed it. I pulled one it. out of my ass where it I had was nothing amazing. but. amazing. And it was, a hu it was huge. It was like over a thousand people. It was over. A th oh, it, over it was a it banquet was, room where it's a terrible comedy terrible, situation. Terrible, but you destroyed. We were dying. It's you were doing a football sets. bit. You were doing the football bit. The end receiver but, football but, bit. But I, uh, wide receiver. The, sorry. The inside like jokes. I had like you go. All right. What do you open with? What's like like about this show where there's fucking eighty. 
18 people not paying attention. Well, this, that's, they're not anyway. supposed to. I'm, I'm not, not even here. To. Fucking, you're, I, you got your guest on. Do I you got my come, out. Do you want to join us? That's my girlfriend. You, oh, your girlfriend's no, here? No, no. We're going to a pool party. You're dressed for not, a pool party. There is no pool. I just came because I had a great break. I'm going with Verzi. We're going to the fucking pool. Go, I want to meet go. Verzi. Murray's Thank coming you, up. Hope. Thank you for coming on for a brief moment. Enjoy your pool party. See you later. Thank you. All right. Murray Valeriano. Hey, I just want to thank Doug Stanhope for getting out of here indiscreetly. I thought that was <laughs> way to really put that plan into effect. If we kind of file out of here one by one, nobody will notice. Let me jump on the mic first. There's only nine of us dressed like it's 1974. There's no way anybody's going to figure out. How, oh, hold on. Let me commandeer the mic. Where his pool party is, maybe the Regal Beagle. I don't know what. <laughs> By the way, that's the same outfit he wore when he and I did that. It's, a, it's, it's an the atheist only convention. Can I put this on, it by is, the way? Yes, By please. the way, and, I, and I'm not telling tales out of school because he yeah. just admitted it. Doug is hammered yes. right now. Didn't remember yeah. me on the couch nope. until he got up here. He's like, oh, Murray. <laughs> Didn't remember. Like, And he's like, and he said, you know, if I could put my eyes together and focus on you, <laughs> I probably would have a memory. <laughs> And he's like, who's up there? And I'm like, Kira Saltanovich. I don't he's know. Like, I don't know. I'm a toll booth. And then he's like, Paul Verzi. Oh, that's Verzi. That's Verzi. Let's sneak out of here. Um, he has kids, right? Uh, can I ask a favor, Aaron, since you're walking around? Wow, just, Aaron Brunghart, just, may I ask a favor? What's that? It's Brungart. Brungart. What did I say? Brungarth. No, I didn't. My, my phone over there. I got to read a quick. Uh, um, I got to do a mid-roll. Are you having another fucking East Coast Italian on before me? Oh, yeah, I forgot you're an East Coast Italian. Thank right. you, Aaron. I'm neither East Coast Thank nor you, Italian. Sir. <laughs> no. Well, you're kind of East I'm Coast. I'm from the East you're Coast Jersey. and I'm Italian, but I'm not East Coast. I'm not no, what you would say. No, but you're East Coast. I don't sound like I'm going to put you in a body bag. <laughs> what are you reading? I'm reading the uh, the, the mid-roll, but I'm also going to read Verzi's, Verzi's. I'm saying everybody's last names incorrectly. Uh, I'm going to read his... Uh, Facebook message to me so I can remember. You couldn't have done that myself. when he was here? No, because my phone was over there I have charging. plenty of Facebook messages to you that you could read. <laughs> do, you, do you ever uh, get those little, um, like, bars for your kids? For your kid? Bar? Like a bar, like a granola bar or like oh, a sure. snack yeah, bar? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so have you seen RX bars? No. Okay, these are delicious. Okay. And I'm saying this, and uh, they haven't even sent me any. I just get them on my own already. Oh, so yeah, I've heard you talk about they this. they are gonna sponsor the podcast is even better oh rx those are awesome those are my favorites i love them no no but for realsies they are Murray so valeriano has his own podcast <laughs> there's three flavors there's chocolate chip there's apple cinnamon raisin berry blast um i like it because i throw them in the kids lunches i throw them in the car mm -hmm. they're always in the car mm -hmm. i always have food you always have, gotta have snacks in the car sure take them anywhere you want breakfast lunch whatever in the backpack on a hike um if you go to um, rxbar.com forward slash Kira. Use the promo code Kira at checkout. You get 25% off. Yes, it's a mid roll, Murray. You couldn't have done this? No. Hey, Murray, come sit on my podcast as I do a commercial. It's for RX Bar. It's important. Brody Stevens, 818 in the Phoenix. What's a Phoenix area zip code? Area code. What is it? 602. 602. You went to college here. Of course he did. Right. Anyways, get your I'm RX a bar party for, this. for your kids. Thank you for missing it. <laughs> I'll give you an RX bar. I would bar love an RX bar. Thank that you. would be great. They really are delicious. I would love so to try one. So go to rxbar.com forward slash Kira and use promo code Kira at the checkout. You can also get them at Target. Oh. That's actually where I buy them. What mine. if I say Kira at the Target line? If you go to the Target line, you go, Kira! 25% off everything. Oh, everything? Not just RX oh, bars. Oh, even the new Millennium Falcon by everything. Legos? Everything. Awesome. All right. Now it's all about you. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Thank you for being my, you are my safety net. Aww. You are my life preserver. Aww. You are my penicillin. You should be saying this about your husband, <laughs> not me. He's not here though, is oh, he? Oh, true. Is he? I can't believe I drove. All, I drove. You drove? I drove to Phoenix. When? Today. I just got in like you just a half got hour in ago. Right now? Yeah. Oh my gosh. And I walked okay. in and you're like, can you do my show? I'm like, Thank yeah, all right. you. <laughs> why not? I know. I just flew in. I drove I, in. I just, why did you drive? Uh, cause it's five why hours by that? myself. 
Ah, yes. And I don't know if you know this, but I've been a single dad for, since July. Tell me about, and it's not over. No, it's going through February, February dude. Tell February. Me, tell well, me how we, that's been. Well, let me tell you about the last time. So we spent a week in Atlanta last oh, week. Oh, for what? That's where my wife's working, okay, so we went okay. there. So I did, you know, Laughing Skull, and I'm going back to do the punchline in a couple of weeks. Is that why you asked me about Laughing Skull? Yes, exactly. Yes. So we go, we get on the, uh, it's just me and Frank, my son, uh, flying back and forth. Okay. And so they send us, and now Atlanta is the fucking nightmare of an airport. It's the oh, worst airport ever. I think ever. I know which story you're going to tell. Oh, I haven't told this because it just happened. You told it to me. Oh, I did? Oh, okay. But I want to hear it, right. and I want my podcast listeners to hear it. Oh, that's right. It. I called you because yes. <laughs> that's right. Because we're best friends. We are. You are anything parenting or anything, have comedy, anything, anything. We call each other. It's hilarious. Okay. Um, so like an hour through TSA. Okay. That's was awful. the worst. It was awful. My but he's such a chill kid. Mm, he gets a little rambunctious okay. at an hour. And then okay. my wife had got him these mints because he loves these mints for the plane. Always bring. He loves the plane because it means treats and yeah. movies yeah. for five hours yeah. from Atlanta. So he loves it. So he's just shoveling these mints fistful into. So he's happy. He's just <laughs> make it through TSA, get on the plane, back of the plane, all the way to the back. You know, we sit down. I set him up, I got his earplugs in, I put on a movie, I decide I'm gonna take a nap. You know, I can get at least an hour while I go to the movies. We take yeah. off. It's one of the most turbulent flights I've ever been on, ever. I mean, it was like, oh you know the one where you think, oh, this one this might be it. it. This is it, <laughs> this yeah. one might be it. You're not really convinced, but you're like, this could be this I was on a one. flight once where the flight attendant screamed. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> that is not good. Landing in, uh, in Utah. What's, oh, the, yeah. what's the place where Sundance is? Uh, Park City. Okay. Did landing? you land in Park City? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Landing there. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. It was Aspen. We were landing in Aspen. Oh, yeah. Oh, landing, yeah, it makes more sense. Yeah, and because between the mountains. Yeah. And uh, we, it was so turbulent, the flight attendant went, oh, oh, <laughs> and that was it. I was like, well, <laughs> it, you know what? It was a good run. Yeah. All right, yeah, so turbulent. Right. I was flying, hold on, this is a different story. I was flying out of Seattle mm -hmm. during a storm. Mm -hmm. And the flight, the, the the people on the thing said, uh, we're gonna try to get to Los Angeles, <gasps> um, but we might have to be diverted to San Jose. We're telling you this because if we get to, if we have to go to San Jose, you are responsible for your flight to Los Angeles. But wait, if there's a storm, where was the storm? In San Francisco? I guess so. Oh, probably. okay. Somewhere okay, between okay. there. So we're gonna, if okay. we get diverted, you're. But we're gonna try, which was <laughs> a great thing. So I'm on the plane with like two 16 year old girls from Venezuela in the row next to me. And it is up and down and going all over us. And I'm, I'm, this is when I was really scared of flying. I'm shitting a brick, right? And this little like Latino girl is like, Mista, are we going to be okay? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, yes, dear, we're going to be fine. And I held her hand and I looked out the window and was like, fuck, we're going to die. <laughs> we're so dead. <laughs> <laughs> it was awful. Oh that was the God. worst player. This That's, is the second worst yeah. turbulence. Off the plane, boof, boof, boof. I fall asleep, getting kind of rocked to sleep, and I feel my son kind of just brush my arm, and I don't think about it. You know, I just think he's stretching or whatever, and then a few minutes later, brush my arm again. I just blow it off. <laughs> I just, you know, he's just, he's, 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 an, he's like, you know, sure. he's active, you know, he's enjoying sure. it. He's getting more mints. He's doing everything. Brushes my arm a third time. I'm like, what's up, buddy? And I look down, and he looks at me, and he points down and has barfed all over the place. <laughs> just full on, brah, just down his and pants. And you didn't hear it? I, didn't, I had headphones on, oh. and it's noisy in an, airline, in an airplane. And you're a bad father. And I'm a terrible father. <laughs> I was listening to Sergeant Peppers. You know, my kid would have screamed. That's what I'm saying. Your kid is pretty chill. Right. No, my kid would be just, like, mommy! No, just glared Lonely. at me, glared at me and pointed down and it was down his front of his shirt, all over his pants, on the seat, in the front seat in front of him, oh in the pocket. God. Oh my God. On the floor. How many mints did he eat? Uh, t well, the, that's the great thing is it didn't smell. It smelled <laughs> minty. <laughs> That's oh the God. only thing. It didn't smell like puke. It smelled like mints. Oh, my so God. So nobody, like, no, and I've always, I've thought about this my whole life. Like, oh, my God, I'm going to be so mortified if that ever happened to me. I'd be so apologetic to all the parents and all that. But I was like, ah, oh, fuck him. This is my kid. He's sick. I got to take care of him. So yeah. I didn't, in those, no change of clothes. Yeah. That's Learn that one. Such, you, that is such a non-union move. I <laughs> I know. I, I fine. I, I understand that's that. That's Bush now. League right there. But you know, he grew out of the 
you know, peeing and crapping himself on the plane. So yeah. I didn't, you know, we, we, yeah. we fly all the time. Yeah. Him and I, and we've never had that problem. And so it was so nice. The stewardesses were really nice. I tipped them 20 bucks. <laughs> and they they, gave they him, cleaned it up. They you, cleaned it up. They did. They cleaned up the seats. Oh I, I mean, God. I rinsed out his. Cl- I, we had to sacrifice the shirt. There was no saving that. But uh, so I threw that in the trash, and I rinsed out his pants, and like they hung dry him in the back for me. And then they put gave him two uh, blankets and made a little toga, and then <laughs> set him up in the. Th- he was probably more comfortable than any of us. He was rushing a fraternity in the eighties. <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, okay. that was now 15 minutes into a five hour flight. Oh my God. And what did the people around you say? Nobody really said it. The woman, cause it, I was on the aisle, I get the aisle with him and then he gets the middle and the, the woman, thank God turned out to be a mother, a grandmother and a nurse. So she had seen it all. So she didn't care. Oh my God. And so now you have learned though, right? Oh, absolutely. Change your clothes the whole time. I'm seeing if I can get a picture of you in the, in the toga. Oh God, a toga. Oh my God! <laughs> Just Look naked. At this guy. <laughs> oh, poor guy. <laughs> but he was fine after that, and then I gave him a granola bar and RX. <laughs> Get twenty five percent off. Go to I rxbar. Said, I, hit, I hit the bing stewardess button. Just yeah. said Kira. Kira. <laughs> <laughs> and like the oxygen mask, RX bars just fell out of the ceiling. I'm telling you, they come in handy. Yeah. But now, when you travel, because mm-hmm. you travel a lot, yes, you are going to bring clothes. Absolutely, now. now I'm totally going to bring clothes for sure. You have to. Absolutely, yeah. I didn't even, I didn't, it didn't even register. And I'm an overpacker. That's the weird thing. Yeah, me too. Like I've probably brought five outfits for this weekend. I'm doing three shows. I brought way too many clothes. I'm leaving tomorrow morning. <laughs> I could probably <laughs> flown in this, oh, absolutely. done my sets, slept in, you know, a toga. Absolutely. United Airlines toga. Are you doing the improv tonight? Yes. That's going to be a, that's a heavy hitter show. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 7.30. Yeah. It's me. You okay. That's all I need to know. <laughs> that's it. You're right there. <laughs> that's it. That's right there. Joke never gets old. And uh, when you say heavy hitter, it's because you're abusive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I s- slapped the shit out of my kid for puking on the plane. Did you? Oh, yeah. How's he going to learn? Come on. One minute at a time, buddy. One minute at a time. I One minute at a time? Yeah, Is yeah. that what you're saying? I, um, we're going to Hawaii for the first time. <gasps> My kid, we're going to Maui. Nice. My kid has never been on a flight longer than an hour. Oh, yeah. The older one. The baby has, but mm-hmm. she was, you know, she's gone to Florida with me and, and other places. But he's only been to San Francisco back and forth a mm. bunch of times. So we'll see. Yeah. I'm taking two kids. Man, your kid's a brat. A little bit. <laughs> I'm kidding. No. Come on. He's not. You know, here's the thing with my kid. He is so fucking amazing. Mm-hmm. Like, I, um, I'm going to show you a video later. I can talk to him about almost anything. Right, sure. Like really almost anything. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter. I'll bring up the most random, weirdest things. Period. And he... <laughs> right, that's random and weird. And he, um, it's natural. And he is on board and wants to talk about anything. Okay. But it's the things that are like kid related, you know, so like... Uh, Hey, you're not allowed to, you know, play right now because we got to eat dinner. Like it's the it's that mm-hmm. magnified. So it's like when he's cool, he's hella cool. Right. When it's something that he doesn't want to do or what or he asks for something and I say no, he loses his mind, but it's it's like the full spec mm-hmm. like spectrum. Spectrum. Pendulum, whatever. Speculum. Speculum <laughs> right up your <laughs> right up your periods. Oh. I know. So I, I was on, I was driving with him, right? And the baby wasn't in the car. So I like to do like really just cool mommy Braden stuff when the baby's not mm-hmm. in the car. Uh, we crank Who's the Braden? music. <laughs> we crank the music. We talk about fun stuff. Okay, so here, I don't know if I I'll just put it on the microphone. I ta- I try to convince him to be Ralph Mouth for Halloween. Okay. <laughs> So that's what I try. Somebody, to do. oh my God, he's losing. <laughs> I try to convince him <laughs> to be Ralph Mouth. Let's see if it works, okay? Um, you can dress up as Ralph Mouth and then walk around trick or treating saying, sit on it, Potsy. <laughs> do you want to do that? No. <laughs> Why not? Because I don't want to be Ralph Mouth. You don't want to be Ralph Mouth? What if he has purple hair? No, well, actually, I think Ralph Mouth was a redhead. Yeah, so you could have, it could be a redhead. What if he has four arms? Ralph Mouth is just a person. Oh, cool, okay. Yeah, Ralph Mouth. what if Ralph Mouth has 11 (laughs) toes? Well, that might be possible. I don't know. Cool, okay. But I do not want to be Ralph Mouth. I don't want to be Ralph Mouth. 
<laughs> okay, so do you want to be the Fonz? No. Not the Fonz? Wait, the Fonz might have eight legs too. No, the Fonz is also a person. Oh, cool, okay. <laughs> I have my blinker and then you on. Can say stuff like, hey. <laughs> Up. There's a point to this. Okay. Wait, but does he have 19 thumbs? No, he's just a regular man. Well, he's not a regular man. He's definitely cooler than most men. Oh. But he's the Fonz, and he could do stuff like, um, he could, like, hit a, uh, a paper towel dispenser, and, like, a bathroom door would open. Stuff like that. I'm trying to pitch him the so phone. wrong. That's magical. not what happened. That totally happened. His office was Jukebox. a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> so after that, he said he wants to be the Fonz because his office was a toilet. <laughs> Why was that wrong? Because he if, doesn't hit the, the towel dispenser and a door opens. He hits the jukebox or the no. lights. No. You're, okay, the earlier ones, yes, but later on in different uh, later seasons. After they jumped the shark. Yes, he would hit a, a, a paper towel dispenser and like a, a bathroom door, the stall door would open. All right. Aaron, Aaron's too young. Yeah, no, I don't. Yeah. Is I that don't. Mike back there? Yeah. He would hit anything. He would hit anything, and anything would happen. God damn it, All Murray right, Valeriano. Fine. fine. A f he would hit a payphone and dimes would come out. And he'd hit a girl and all the girls would come up. All right. right? See? I have a, You're aggressive. Can I do a video too? Yes. All right. So it's Halloween when okay. we record this. Okay. And part of Frank's, um, that's my son, uh, homework was to write a Halloween joke. Okay. And so here's his Halloween joke. I recorded it and sent it to his mom because she's not with us. Oh. Well, she's she alive. She <laughs> she's not deceased. She's no, my, she's no longer with us. <laughs> <laughs> she's in Atlanta. Until February. Right. The late. Mary's ovaries. She's supposed to be here an hour ago. <laughs> Mommy, we have to do a Halloween joke for school. So here That's me. That's not Frank. He's not <laughs> 47 years old. <laughs> all, right, so. all right. Ready? Only because it ties into yours. Okay. I'm, li I'm all ears. Mommy, we have to do a Halloween joke for school. So here it is. Hey, Mommy, have you ever heard the story of when the ghost crossed the road? Well, here it is. When the ghost crossed, the ghost crossed the road, and do you know why? Why? Because he needed to go potty, and across the street was the only toilet in town. <laughs> that was great. That's hack. Apple fall, doesn't fall, <laughs> fall too far from the tree. I'm opening with that tonight. Hey, guys, want to hear a you joke about things? You couldn't punch that up for him a little? Why? Come on. I don't want to put the pressure on him. No, nope, you got to. No. I tell my kid. I tell him, worst comes to worst, drop your pants. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Yeah, Where's and, the potty and now? you know what? If you do that, you can work at the comedy store. <laughs> um, what else is happening in your life? Um, I. What are you doing? Like every night you got to make dinner and do mm -hmm. the bath and mm -hmm. put him to bed every single fucking night. Yeah. And you have a sitter come? Or if I'm if working. You have a spot? Yeah, if I, have a, if I have a spot, I have a sitter come. And then I got to get up in the morning, get him breakfast and get him and take him to school. And then on the weekends, you guys have to fill all that time too. Uh, on the weekends, mom comes home and oh. dad's like, "Audi, yeah, <laughs> gone." Wow. Okay, yeah. well that's I'm good. I'm going then. to Phoenix. And what movie is she working on? Can you t can you say? Uh, I don't know. Okay. You can always not. Google it. That's what I say. Anybody ever asks? Because no one's going to do that. That's fine. And who has the time for that bullshit? Yeah. But you know what's great about taking him to school in the morning is we're two blocks away, so I walk him to school every morning. That's great. Which is fantastic. Yeah. And then, uh, when I pick him up, I skateboard. I have a longboard skateboard. And uh, I carry his bicycle uh, in my hands and right. his helmet, and I skate over to pick him up, and then he gets on his bike, and, and we you skate guys, home. Oh, that's so And we cute. come back. And there's been a couple of times when I've been skating, and like one of the moms is like, "Ooh, cool dad." I'm like, "Yes." Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> wife's so, out of town. She's wife's no out of town. With yeah, us. she's late. <laughs> I mean, not late. She's not regular. But it's periods again. <laughs> so, like second, third day of school, I'm skating to pick him up. I've got my helmet on. I've got his bicycle, his helmet, phone, keys, wallet, what? just in my pockets, you know, skating over to pick him up. We come to an intersection and there's a, like a drainage groove in the intersection. And I'm thinking, all right, yeah, I've, I've, I've navigated this before. I'll just, you know, you lift your weight up. You kind of jump up when you go over a dip. That right. way your wheels go over it and then you come down. Right. And I judged it wrong. And I went up and I came down and the back wheels locked skateboard stopped i went flying into <gasps> the intersection 
just helmet, bicycle, keys, wall, like a y yard sale in the oh middle of God. the in the middle of the thing. Rip these pants. Those are all patched up. Bleed, bloody knee. Cut up my hands. I get up. I turn around. My neighbor. <laughs> is in the car in the intersection with her 10 year old girl and five of her best friends <laughs> just like uh, <laughs> just laughing at me and then the mom's like, are you shit. okay I'm like yeah i'm fine three days later I, I go to school i drop frank off i walk him i drop him off i walk out i run into the little girl and her friends and they're like hi mr <laughs> and they all laughed at me again well you're never gonna have sex with them then <laughs> Jeez! Wow! I mean, you ruined your chances. Wow! Did that take a? <laughs> Leave it to me to you make just it. Just walk one of the staff members. Yeah. Well, he knows what he did. That's a her. Okay. <laughs> oh, and speaking of having sex with people. Hello, Murray. What? What is? My wife passed away. <laughs> she did not. Oh, she did it, are you sure? No, she is alive. Oh, she right. comes home every weekend. No. Who right. do you think that is? I thought I was getting ghost texted. <laughs> That's an MTV show, right, Aaron? Ghost texting? Ghost texting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. Ghost texting. Um, my kid, uh, speaking of ghosts, mm -hmm. um, is so much talk. And then when it really comes down to it, he's like, I want to hear a really About scary story. No, shut up. A really it. scary story. And I'm like, okay. So I found like a scary uh podcast for kids like a, a scary ghost story because mm -hmm. they're all over the place now and he's listening to it and his whole face is just <laughs> like so scrunched up the whole time listening i was like hey are you are you enjoying this he's like yes but he's freaked out of, out of his mind and he won't say he's scared and then it's over and he was like oh, that was that was a very scary Aww. story i go yeah but i i checked in with you i checked in like do you sure you want to continue with this? And you know what he said to me? He goes, bad parenting. Uh, <laughs> I was like, He's been what? listening to your podcast. He has been listening. <laughs> he has. But I mean, it's like you can't win with these kids. They want to do like scary stuff. Mm -hmm. It's all around. And then he's like, I'm going to have nightmares now. It's like, right. dude. My kids, he's been acting scared a lot lately. And I don't know why. Like, he doesn't want to go into the bathroom by himself. Yeah, he my kid, too. Go, yeah. You know, he likes to, I, I let him watch Scooby-Doo while I get the bath ready. And he wants me to sit with him to watch Scooby-Doo because it can get scary. Yeah, why do you let him watch Scooby-Doo, then? Because he likes it. He wants to. Yeah, see, I He's don't like, know. is tonight a Scooby-Doo night? Like, <laughs> that sounds like a euphemism. All right. All right. I was just going to say drugs. All right. <laughs> a little Scooby snack. A little Scooby snack, yeah. A little yeah. snack Murray, what? what is Why wrong? You, you need, your uh, wife needs to come she's back. She's been gone a long time. She's been gone a long time. <laughs> she's been gone a long time. So do See. you guys, you guys have to do it on the weekends then. Like you have to do it every weekend. What, shopping? <laughs> Food shopping? Sex. Pay bills? Oh, yeah. You have what, to how do we, it. Why, yeah, how are we going to? You have to do it, How though. am I going to do it from LA to Atlanta? I got to do it on the weekends. Right, but no, what I'm saying is like it makes it like the pressure's on. Right. Like she's coming home for the weekend. You're like, we have 48 hours. Sure. What are you trying? Wait. Are you saying you guys don't? No, I'm saying that's when we do it. You when have else to are we going to do it? Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. That's pressure, is what I'm saying. No, not for me. Oh, okay. I've been around the block. All right. Yeah, well, and sometimes you fall around the block. Oh, shut it. All right. <laughs> uh, where are your spots? When tonight? do you guys do sex? Well, that's the thing. It's like, it's can, you know, it's whenever. With yeah. two kids, it's whenever? Whenever we can. Oh, so here's next a, to here's, never. Next to never. No, but here's a fun little thing we figured out we could do. Um, oh. My husband is working uh, pretty close to home right now. Mm -hmm. It's not for very long because he's going to go back to Beverly Hills. But right now it's pretty close. So when the kids are at school during the day. What? I know. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> what, what did you grow up in a church? What is that like? It's a, called a nooner, man. I understand, but... We've never really been able to do that because it doesn't matter that it's, you know, the kids are at school. He's always been so far from home. Right. But now for a little short while, he's close by, so it's nice. So what do you do? Quick. It's fast. I mean, do you get all ready for him? No. <laughs> you know, pluck, shave, no. No, oh shower? Oh, my God. Deodorize. You... No. <laughs> really? Why would I do anything different than normal? <laughs> I guess he married you for a reason. Yeah, he knew what he was doing. This is what to. you get. He saw my passport picture. <laughs> this is what you get. Like this is fucking, unplucked. A refugee. <laughs> uh, where are your shows tonight? Because we're going to wrap up Tempe soon. Tempe Improv. I think I'm with you. You're with me. I think so. Okay. Are you doing two or one or three? I don't know. Whatever they want to do. Whatever they want to give me. And you're going back tomorrow? 
I'm leaving tomorrow, yeah, because I am uh, producing a game show. I know. You blah, know. Blah, blah, oh, no, but tomorrow, blah, 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 the reason I'm going back is I have a, a, a corporate. Oh, all right. Nice. Yeah, in Ojai. Oh, all right. So I got to get back. I'm and my dad's in town. I love your dad. Tell him I said hello. I will. I know you guys love each other. He loves you and Angelo Sarukas. Oh, who Those doesn't? Are the two comics he asks about all the time. Thank God, Angelo Angelo Sarukas is so nice. He's Greek, and I married a Greek. Yeah, and he, my, my dad thinks you're Greek. Okay, that's fine. How are those two Greek guys? <laughs> that's what he calls you guys, the two Greek guys. I was so glad I Angelo Sarukas. I met and he gave me his DVD, which is in Greek or something like that. And so I gave it to my father-in-law. So yeah. now my father-in-law can stop asking me about Zach Galifianakis. <laughs> <laughs> now he asked me about Andrew Sorokas. Angelo Sorokas. Angelo Sorokas. Yes. I'm like, finally, the only other Greek in comedy. Now I can. Are there any others? I don't think so. Um, there's there's you, some, there's some Compilopicus were... or something. Oh, yeah. It's Kos Kostaki. Oh. Economopolis. Aster yeah. Wait, what's his name? Asterio. Asterio. Asterios Kokinos? Something, something like that. He looks a lot like a young Jerry Garcia. Google image, both of them. It's a lot of Google spit images. Spit an image. Okay. And then there's a there's a Dino Stanopoulos, but he's more of a writer. Oh, Dino, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Kostaki, Kostaki, Economopoulos. Yeah. Was Fuck. Right. Those Greeks' yeah. names. Holy I, crap. I know. And Aaron got pissed at me for fucking up his name. Yeah. Right. Like I fucking care. Aaron Kostanopoulos. Aaron. Wait, Wait, did they? Aaron has so many f silent H's in his name. It's ridiculous. There's two in Aaron alone. <laughs> What now? Did they cut down your name at Ellis Island? At Ellis Island? Um, mm, no, we flew here. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. To avoid the scabies. And we didn't. We didn't have. A, a, it was a nonstop. We oh, didn't have really? a layover oh, well, at Ellis oh, Island. Oh, well, you yeah. are Jewish. Nonstop. Really, we fly first class. Um, we yeah we no they didn't cut. Why would we do that? Because they did, they did that to my uh, wife's dad. Or his but he's older. Mm, true. Yeah, and I, uh, he probably. Oh, my, hold on. My uh, mom's parents came through Ellis Island, and they didn't—they didn't fix that last name at all. What was their? What's their last name? Bazdavka. B z d a w k a. What the fuck did you just call me? Right. You must have that been sounds. They must have landed close to lunchtime. Wait, where are you? Where is she from? Poland. Bazdavka. Mm -hmm. That sounds like a word, and it's a fucked up word. Do you uh, know her? Yeah. What's that? My mother. Yeah. <laughs> where are you from Poland? No, where are you from? The Ukraine. Oh, right. Yeah, but that sounds like a, it's like, that's like a word in Polish. Bustavka? Yeah, no, that's, that means something. Yeah? That means like, you know, some sort of like criminal or something. I don't know. They cut, uh, Mary's, <laughs> Mary's last name is, was like Zofanopoulos or something like that. That's made up. Oh, you don't know. You guess what? Guess what? I just found out I've been pronouncing my wife's name wrong for 10 years. I don't feel bad now saying Aaron's wrong. <laughs> my wife. But she shortened it. Like when I, because I follow her on Facebook, don't I? No, she's not on Facebook. Or I follow, I see something. Zoffries, right? Yeah. But I've been saying Zoffries and I've known her for 15 years. And then at like, I think it was at the Academy Awards or something. I feel like your heart's not in this marriage. <laughs> <laughs> now you sound like my father-in-law. <laughs> Ask me about Andrew Sarukas. I feel like Andrew. you're just Andrew. not really, like you're, it's, you're half ass in this whole who thing. Who would have said, who wouldn't you have said, like on your second date? Would have been like, would have been, that's actually Zoffries. But instead, I find out, I think we're at the Academy Awards and somebody reads off her name and I go, ugh. I go, I, I, go, I get that all the time. Everybody pronounces my name wrong. She goes, what do you mean? I go, they said Zoffries. Oh no, that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> like what? <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, what are you talking about? Well, yeah, I've known you for 15 years. We have a child together. We have a mortgage. You're telling me now I've been pronouncing your name wrong? I feel like that's someone's bit. Like, there's a comic that's like, well, I didn't think I would know you for that long, so I never corrected you. Like, I didn't think we would go out again. Mm. Like, there's someone's bit that, no? Maybe it's mine, and you're Maybe. ruining it right now. All right. Ugh. Oh, yeah. Murray, it's always a joy. Yeah. She thought um, my name was Marty, so it's no big deal. No, she didn't. Um, let's go to the pool party. All right. Yeah. I think there's food up there. Is there? Yeah. Aaron. And booze. Want me to bring you something? Aaron is, is, if, sure. is here. What would you like? I don't know. Whatever, whatever's there. That's the right answer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll be back here at the, uh, what do we call this, Aaron? When are you doing this your podcast? pop-up podcast studio. Pop up. I'll be up to you by Bud Light and Tito's <gasps> Vodka. Tito's. And Sinus, whatever the other thing is. Cityscape, yeah. City, Cityscape, Cityscape Phoenix. 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 I'll be here tomorrow night at nine o'clock. Doing your podcast. Doing my podcast. Who's your guest? I don't have one yet. Okay. Uh, I got it. possibilities. Yeah. See who's around. Yeah. I'm playing at Lucy there's, Goosey. There's lots of folks. There's uh, 9,000 comics here. <laughs> Maybe Doug Stanhope will swing by. Maybe. Have some more I beers. I not remember anything that happened just now. 
Um, that was fun. That I've was always fun. I've always uh, wanted three guests at one time. Right. Right. It's my first foursome. No, it's not. No. <laughs> All right. Let's no. go. Let's All go right, enjoy. Is that it? Yeah, that's All it. Right, thank you. Okay, hi, uh, Kara's listeners. <laughs> bye and hi. Bye. <laughs>